Hey, Zudoragi here, coming to another video review. I'm trying out a different cable with my mic and seeing if that takes care of the static. We'll see. But that said, as you can see, today I'll be taking a look at Voyager Class Optimus Prime from Transformers Siege. Or Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Siege. That is a heck of a mouthful. Although, yes, I feel like a bit of a chump buying this thing now. I bought a little while ago, because they announced the uh, Earthrise Prime. Yay. Although my problem with Earthrise is actually the same problem I have with this guy. Too small. He's stumpy. But that said, here's his size compared to a soda can in vehicle mode. As far as colors go, it's Optimus Prime, what do you expect? <laughs> Mostly red, quite a bit of blue, some translucent blue, black, silver, gray, and a tiny bit of white. Give you from above and below. Aside from this, it actually doesn't look too bad, and it looks fairly cohesive. As you can see, there's actually a fair bit of, like, greeblies or something in there. Of course, he's got the uh, scuffing and everything, but it's relatively underplayed on him. <laughs> kind of wish it wasn't there at all, but... Eh. Of course, he has wheels that roll fairly nicely. Of course, they would roll better on something that's, you know, flat, but... They're there, and they roll just fine. And he does come with two accessories. His ion blaster, which... Normally, you just plug in right here into the trailer hitch. It just sits like there. Sits right there, like that. Or you can plug it into any of the dozens of other ports he has all over him, because the gimmick of Siege is weapons all over. And the shield buckler thing. You can plug that in there, in there, up there. You can even plug it on the gun and store it all like that. Which looks a little dopey, but I've seen worse. Alright, now for the transformation. Ooh, buckle in. Okay, so, I usually start by undoing these panels here. Pull that out. Pull that out. Take this panel. Kind of get your nail in there. Maybe. There we go. Bring that down and out to the side. Down, out to the side. Open up the windows. Take this silver piece here. Tabs in very securely right there. Bring that out to the side. Bring down the wheels, bring the chain guns out, and take this entire front section, pull it up, bring these panels back in a little bit, and bring all this up like that, fold down the bumper, fold these until they lock in place, and just slap all that right there. Usually helps now to go ahead and bring the head up and just get it out of the way. Alright, what next? Okay. Take the arms and just bring them out to the side, and then bring them all the way out. Close up the chest panel, bring that down a little bit. Out and out. Take the wheels and they will just accordion up into there. Just like that. And they fit in nicely there. Bring the whole waist section down like that. Take this panel, swing it. Oop. Oop, not gonna work when I okay. Untab the legs and then swing this panel down. Same with this one. Take the lower part of the leg only, swing it around, take the wheels. 
bring them all the way around on this hinge, and this tab will go into that slot right there. Bring us down a little more, flip out this panel, and this tab will go into that slot. Do the same thing over here. Wheels in, panel down, panel panel out, tab in. Come on. Turn the lower leg around. Fold up the toe and the heel. Toe and heel. Get that all sorted out. Take this whole flap, bring it down, bring it around. And there are two tabs here and here. So I'll go into slots there and there. Bring the mini guns all the way around, and this tab will go in right in there. Bring down this panel, fold down the arm. Again, bring in the gun, fold down the panel, bring down the arm, and there you have Siege Optimus in robot mode. And here we have him in robot mode. Size compared to a soda can. About the same as Thundercracker. Colors are pretty much the same as before. Mostly red, bit of white, bit of silver, little bit of dark gray, and some black. But a fair bit of blue. Quite a bit of blue, actually. View from above and below. As far as posability goes, it's Siege, so it's pretty good. Head's on a ball joint. You can look up, down, tilt just a little bit, go all the way around. You can also use this panel to, for him to look up extra far if you need him to. And if you move these chest panels just a little bit, you can even look down. Come on, don't make me a liar. But, you know, that looks a little bit unnatural. <clears throat> Arm can go all the way around at the shoulder. Shoulder armor can move in and out, allowing the arm to move out that far. Swivel just below the shoulder. Single elbow joint, so a little over 90 degrees. Swivel at the wrist. Swivel at the waist. Can go all the way around. Legs can go that far forward, that far back, out to the side all the way. Swivel a little bit just below the hip. Can swivel all the way around just above the knee. Has a very nice knee bend. Ankle can tilt in and out, uh, can tilt in. And you can move the toe and the heel if that, you know, does anything for you. So, overall, posability is pretty good. Of course, you can't open the chest window. Not that there's a whole lot in there to see. And he still has the same accessories. Ion blaster. And fit into his hand just fine. Although it's oddly a bit of a brown color. And, of course, if you're not using it, or if he's not using it, you can just plug it in back here. Again, I love it when a figure can store the weapon in robot mode. And he has his shield buckler thing. You can have him holding it in his hand if you want, which looks a little odd. Or you can plug it in here. It still looks a little odd because of how far it sticks out, but it looks a little better. And of course, it can be stored on the back. But one neat thing this can do is it can actually become his axe. Just take the attachment point, bring it all the way down. These tabs will sit in those notches. Bring out the small part of the blade, the large part, and there you have his axe. You can just hold that fairly well. Come on. Kind of wish he, you could put his hand further down on the axe, or further 
up, I guess. But overall, it's not too bad. The design is pretty neat. I like the uh, embossed, not embossed, the molded Autobot symbol. Wish it was painted red, but you know they had to use up as much of the paint as they could on this chrome damage battle garbage. Which honestly just makes the toy kind of look a little dirty. But besides that, the toy is pretty good. Fairly good posability. Kind of looks like, I mean, it looks like Prime because it is Prime. And the transformation, while a bit overly panel heavy for my liking, isn't bad. Yeah, my only real complaint is how small he is. I don't like the fact that he's not, you know, leader class like the Combiner Wars Megatron I have. But, um, as far as I know, there are actually a few third-party companies that did some knockoff, uh, upscaled versions of this figure. So, I'm gonna wait and see if anyone does upscaled versions of the Earthrise Optimus. I hope they do, because I'd like to have one that scales with my Megatron. But, that said, that's my review of Voyager Class Siege Optimus Prime. And yeah, for the past couple weeks I've been reviewing stuff that isn't, you know, three or four years old. That all changes next week. Bye-bye.